What up guys, Kevin here. Video game nominee day, that's what today is, November 13th, 2023 video game awards. We're doing the nominees November 13th, got a full month and a half. Um, what, what, what if we lived in a world where 2023 happens, all the games were released in 2023, and then in early January, they announce the nominees. And then at the end of January or even early February, you do the 2023 Video Game Awards show. But it's 2024 by then. Well, I think it'll be fair. Pentiment, remember, Pentiment didn't make it. They didn't get nominated this year. Um, but I want to stick to the facts. So that's one fact that I think everyone can get behind. Like, yeah, just do it early next year so we don't have this weird cutoff. Um but other than that, there are a few objectionable, like, absolute facts of these games do not belong to be nominated in the category they're in or even at all. And we, we can all do, even I can do, like, oh, this game got snubbed, this game got snubbed, this game doesn't belong here. Especially in the Game of the Year awards, or Game of the Year category. Um, but there are three games that got nominated that absolutely everyone, 100% out of 100% of people can get behind like, yeah, that don't belong there. And let's start with the first one. Destiny 2 has been nominated Best Community Support at the Game Awards just days after Bungie laid off a number of Destiny community and social media managers. Okay, so e even taking the layoffs aside, like, all right, everyone laid off people this year. Destiny 2 has been nominated the best community support category. The game that launched a mediocre at best expansion with Lightfall. And has just been downhill ever since. They can't figure it out. Now there's reports coming out that Bungie uh, developers are going to the higher up saying, hey, this is how to fix it. And they're telling them, no, that's, no. <laughs> that's not how you fix it. Keep doing what we're doing. We need to just keep pumping out content. Everyone hates Destiny 2. Even people who like Destiny 2 don't really like the game. This game should not even be here. I think we can all get behind, yeah, Destiny 2, you're not really having a good year. Maybe next year they improve things and belong here. But if there's an ever a year where Destiny 2 um, doesn't belong here, it's this year. <laughs> um, yeah, what else is here? Oh, oh yeah, huh? We're, we got a two for this category. We'll skip over this other one that is even more laughably so shouldn't be here. But then we got Final Fantasy XIV. I don't think Final Fantasy XIV had a great year, um, but okay. No Man's Sky, I actually believe belongs. And Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, what community support? The game just launched. I don't know. I don't... This whole category is whack, actually. Um, but Destiny 2 is definitely, um, yeah, dog, you don't belong here. What's the next one? Oh, Matt, Baldur's Gate 3 is an independent game, and it is. Dave the Diver is not an independent game. So, so I actually saw this, and I went, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Dave the Diver is an independent game. Then I'm like, oh, yeah, by the look of the game. <laughs> by the look and art style and feel of that game but it's not a independent game even the studio said they're not an independent game they're owned by Necon, nexon they got a parent company that feed them the dough and it will be extremely awkward if they win like if they win which i think they are the favorite right <laughs> um if they win, that acceptance speech, if they're even there, is going to be awkward. I think they will even say, like, oh, hey, I mean, if you guys think we're indie, sure. Um, 
I think they will do the right thing and call everyone else out like, hey, you guys. Um, I think this is a very notable F up that they'll, they'll keep Dave the Diver there, but they'll probably give it to Sea of Stars. They'll give it to Sea of Stars. Cocoon, I don't know about Cocoon. Uh, I hear good things, but they'll probably give it to Sea of Stars, even if whatever the voting or however it works, they give it to Dave the Diver. <laughs> Um, somebody's going to step in and give it to see a star. They're like, oh, crap. That's going to look bad on us. That's going to put them in an awkward situation if they win. Again, that's a 100% fact. That game does not belong there. And last one, back to this category. So Cyberpunk 2077 is a games-as-a-service game. Example, 2743 Halo Infinite has made strides. I am biased, but my point still stands. Yeah, I think Halo Infinite had a pretty good comeback year, right? Pretty good comeback year. If they keep this up, they should absolutely be nominated next year. But that aside, it is a joke that a single-player game in Cyberpunk 2077 is nominated for, what, best ongoing game? It received one DLC. One expansion. One expansion. Now, I think people are getting confused with um, the next-gen update that was what? Was that earlier this year or last year? It was last year. Okay, they released it for, or they did a proper port to PS5 and Series X. Okay, and then they added, like, a few things. Okay. what What's so different about this game than any other game that gets DLC. About every game gets like DLC or story content. But Cyberpunk 2077 gets a games as a service category (laughs) nominee. This just screams, hey, this is a really big game. We need some type of representation of this. Let's put it here. Like, why couldn't they like give it like RPG? Is it because it's just an expansion? Maybe, and it like it makes no sense. And again, 100% of people can get behind this game, does not belong here. If it does, then it's like you have to go back in time and go, Well, why haven't all these other single player games that received storied expansions um, been nominated? And I think they're also confused in that this game was released buggy and broken as hell. This game was so buggy and broken that just the the 2.0 is that what it's called with um phantom liberty people are saying now the game is fixed like that's the ongoing part of the game is it released broken and now they're slowly fixing it along the way let's not confuse those updates as them actually adding meaningful content to the game meaningful content no they're adding content that's fixed that should have been there day one so i mean this doesn't say release your game broken and then just fix it along the way and jeff Keeley will give you uh at least a nominee for um best ongoing game (laughs) i mean come on come on that is that is a fact this game does not belong here this whole category is whack well, we got Apex Legends, maybe Genshin Impact, Fortnite. I hear Fortnite is popped off again, so maybe Fortnite deserves it. It's Final Fantasy XIV. I don't, I don't know what's going on with Final Fantasy XIV. I think it's just people are just itching for, you know, maybe that's really new content and they're really not giving it. I don't know. I played the game. I don't know what people want. I think people with ongoing games, they just, it's a roller coaster. They love it and they hate it. It's like, a game, an ongoing games as a service game cannot just be good. It can't just continuously be good. It has to be really good or really bad. Um, but Cyberpunk 2077 don't belong there. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, there you have it. So that's best ongoing game. What was the other game that Destiny 2 was in? I guess that was a different category. Best community support. All right. There you have it. That is, you know, I, I can make 
million videos about, hey, the game of the year is bullcrap. This got nominated and this didn't. But this is the video. This is the this is the stuff that got nominated that absolutely don't belong. And it's a pretty big stain on the Game Awards. It really is. Like, we can't take you seriously. Whoever nominated these games, like, it's an absolute joke. Um, oh, yeah, it was the journos. It's the gaming journos who don't play games. It's the, oh, let's just nominate games we heard of. <laughs> All right, well, I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.